everybody, welcome to Tool Tuesdays. I am your host, Stefan. Um, I'm going to post a new video series of Tool Tuesdays every Tuesday um, for however long it goes. Um, so today, let's get started on basic saws that, you know, this is, this is going to be more of a um, thing around beginning woodworking and um, people that don't have that money to go out and spend right away and buy a table saw, buy a bandsaw, and all that kind of stuff. So um, these are the basic things that you need and that will get the job done very well. Um, I've kind of gone back to using just basic stuff. Um, it helps you um, get a little bit better at joints and focus on, you know, cuts and things need to be exactly perfect and you can be a little more finicky and um, the finished product will look a lot nicer because you're, you know, you're going a little bit slower. You're not using a big old power tool that can get out of control from you. So, um, we're going to start on basic hand saws today. Um, the first one up, this is just a normal, um, cross cut wood saw. Uh, you can pick these up at a garage sale, anything like that for super cheap. Um, not much to it. And this one's missing a screw. Um, you know, there's there's probably, you know, great ones and uh, crappy ones, but, you know, anything will do for the time being because it will get you through it. Um, you know, obviously, if you're picking one up from a garage sale or something like that, you want to look for uh, how the teeth are. Make sure, you know, they're not dinged up or, you know, it's missing teeth or anything like that. Even if it's a little rusty, you know, you can clean it up. But, um, you know, there's there's very few things that you need to look for in, in the saw and whatnot but it usually will do you pretty good on cutting bigger things and whatnot next thing is a miter box saw you can't do too much with this I mean you can cut fine little detail and stuff like that um, the reason being is it's got this big strip of uh, steel at the top so it'll limit you on your workpiece cutting up because the kerf is thin here and this piece of steel is a lot bigger. Um, same thing, you can find a miter box usually with the saw for super cheap. You can buy them brand new for super cheap. Same thing with this saw, you can buy it brand new for cheap. And um, you just want to look at the teeth if you're buying it used. And um, same thing, you know, just look at it and um, see if it's worth the little money that you're going to put into it. Um, usually, a lot of uh, people that have tools usually have more of these so if you have friends or family or anything like that you can get you know usually these tools from them for free or borrow them whatever because normally people have doubles and you know they're willing to give that away it's not that big of a you know a pricey item so that may be an option that you can go through and see another thing is a hacksaw I know that the, usually this is cut for uh, used for cutting metal but I've been using this a lot for fine woodworking. Um, it's got a small kerf, similar to the thickness on this. Uh, it's got very fine teeth because it's cutting through metal. Um, so it leaves a nice finish. You don't have uh, big jagged things, which also means it's a lot smoother to start out on a cut and um, whatnot. And doing a lot of smaller things, I have a small miter box. For you guys who don't know what a miter box looks like for this saw, this is a miter box. And it's just a small one, and this works great with this saw. Goes down inside there. For just doing small little pieces, you know, um, small picture frames, um, just odds and ends of different little small box projects and stuff like that I, that I use that for in this saw. Then this is a coping saw. Um, you don't have to run out and get one of these. You know, this can be a later purchase. If you're starting out and you just need a saw for now, I would go with this guy here and then maybe a miter saw. And then you can work yourself to a hacksaw and then all the way to a coping saw. A coping saw is great for small detail work, um, making dovetails and different joints like that. Um, it's great for those kinds of things and getting into little hard places, um, but it's not a necessity on going out and 
getting right away. Um, even though they are still relatively cheap and you can find them at garage sales, you know, habitat stores and different things like that. Um, I, it's not a necessity to run out and get it right now if you're just starting out. Um, but it is a great tool to have to do little things. If you watch some of my previous videos, you see I do use that in the um, carving of the beaver and stuff like that. That's just because it, it's great for getting around little corners. It's got a small width on the blade. The kerf is um, small and it's um, adjustable so I can make it go anywhere. I can uh, take the blade out, put it through a hole, cut an inside of something. Um, but yet again, not not something you need to run out and go and buy. So that is your basic hand saws. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please um, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, again, these videos are going to come out every Tuesday. Uh, Tool Tuesday is what it's going to be called. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, and if you guys want to see or know a little more information, please leave a comment down below, and, and uh, I'll get to that. Thank you, guys.